Good morning, and welcome to France. My name is Richard, and I am a filmmaker. And we're here at the Rouge Mont Manoir in Normandy. It's just a few miles away from D-Day beaches, and roughly about 200 miles away from Paris, where the Lumiere brothers projected the first film over a century ago. Now, since you're watching this class, I can assume that you are undoubtedly aware that today's process of filmmaking is going through some of the most fundamental changes since the introduction of sound. And I'm talking, of course, about the art of 3D filmmaking. Shooting a stereoscopic film involves some fundamental changes. How to compose a shot, the editing, and how to control the 3D through manipulation of the 3D rig, right here. In order to do a good 3D film, the knowledge has to be really mastered, not only because of artistic reasons, but also because, well, let's face it, if you do bad 3D film, then you're gonna send your audience back home with headaches and dizziness and so on. But if you do it right, you will add a new dimension to your film. So, this course is divided into four chapters. In the first chapter, we're going to explain how Stereo 3D works. We're going to start in with the principles of Stereo 3D, then go on with understanding a Stereo 3D image. In the second chapter, we're going to show you how to create good stereo for any screen size, because in the Stereo 3D world, screen size changes a lot of things. At that point, we're going to be able to understand how to build the stereo in an image, and learn the tips for good stereo. At the end of chapter two, we're going to have a good idea as to how to build a well-balanced stereoscopic image. So we're going to step into the process of actual stereo shooting in the third chapter, called Methods of Stereo Shooting. After introducing 3D rigs, we'll explain the two necessary steps to shoot in 3D. The first step, adjusting the far parallax. And the second step, adjusting the interaxial, which is the distance between the two cameras. In the fourth and final chapter, we'll review 3D tools and techniques. We'll talk about how Stereo 3D changes the pre-production process, then move on to production and the additional challenges of post-production, and then we'll conclude with a summary of the entire course.